Baruch here with Jen Connect and Jocelyn Wyatt. Jocelyn, I want to start out by talking about design. What makes a good design? So at IDEO and at IDEO.org, what we really believe is that understanding people and having empathy for them ultimately leads us to come up with great design. So we talk about human-centered design, which really starts with talking with people, observing them in their homes or in their workplaces, really seeing what it is that makes them tick, what it is that they think and feel in addition to what it is that they say and do. And from there, we're able to really come up with some of the challenges that they may face in their lives or the needs that they might have and the things that might be desirable and then are able to come to new solutions that could really improve their lives that are based on what it is that we've seen from them and that we've learned through the empathy that we have for them. Beyond designing products that really improve a company's bottom line, which I know IDEO makes many, many very successful products, how can good design really impact the world? And so we started IDEO.org, which is a sister nonprofit to IDEO, which I am the executive director of. And with IDEO.org, what we really do is apply that same human-centered design approach to poverty alleviation challenges. And so we actually work on things like bringing toilets and clean sanitation into people's homes in Ghana, or providing financial literacy tools to low-income teens in the south side of Chicago. So we really think about how design can be broadly applied beyond products to serve services and businesses and systems, but also beyond the private sector to work with the social sector and the public sector as well. When we think about all the issues that facing Americans, facing people around the world, what is the sector or the problem, the challenge most in need of a good design? So since I work on poverty alleviation, I would say that's really um, the, the growing inequality in our world is something that I think we can really tackle with great design. So there, when we think about providing people with access to basic services, things like health, water, nutrition, sanitation, as well as providing them with income generating opportunities and access to education, those are the things that if we really redesign those products and services that allow people to really um, live better lives, I think we're going to see that inequality gap can really start to close. Jocelyn, thank you so much. Thank you. And for more with Jocelyn and IDEO.org, be sure to check out GenConnect.